Okay, you just got your Build Redux PC, and you probably saw on YouTube that there's a new Windows 11 coming out. And possibly you signed up for the uh, beta program or a dev channel or whatever you call it, and either it's not letting you get into the beta, and it's telling you that your PC is not. Um, does not meet the minimum requirements or telling you that you need a TPM. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to check whether or not you have TPM enabled on your computer and how to enable it. So you want to do, I'm already on Windows 11, but the steps are pretty much the same. So you're going to go to your settings. It looks a lot different now, but you're going to go to Windows Update. Uh, on yours, you'll see like Insider Program and stuff, so you click on that. And then you'll see um, this Dev Beta Release. If you cannot get into the Dev Channel or Beta Channel, that means TPM is not enabled on your computer if you're still on Windows 10. In order to do that, uh, you want to go ahead and restart your PC. Once the computer starts to restart or boot back up, you want to hit the delete key or whatever key that you need to press to get into your motherboard's uh, BIOS. And once you're in here, mine's an MSI motherboard, so it's the delete key. If you also have an MSI motherboard, it's going to be delete. In order to enable TPM, all you have to do is go over to settings, go to security, trusted computing and then security device support you want to enable that you want that enabled hopefully you have a cpu that's um tpm compatible um anything on build redux's site those cpus are tpm compatible but if you for some reason downgraded your cpu or you're looking on this video for um, just to figure out how to enable it, uh, you would need to buy a little chip for your PC. Now you just wait for it to start back up after you enabled it. Alright, once you've enabled it, you're going to go back to the developer um, inside the program. So you go to your settings, you go to your Windows Update and Security, you go to Windows Insider Program, and then you choose it and you press Dev, and then it will download uh, this update right here, which is the Windows 11 code release update. And then you'll restart your PC, and then you'll be greeted by Windows 11. It's very good. The PC runs it very nicely. And I've noticed a little bit of um, performance increase in some games. I would definitely suggest it. Um, if you do not want to risk your PC getting uh, ruined or something like that, like... Your PC just doesn't uh, run well with it, and you don't want to risk it, just don't do it. But if you want to try Windows 11 out early, that's how you would do it. 
Um, it's no different whether you're doing it on a PC you got from Build Redux or if you're uh, doing it on your own custom PC. Just make sure that you go into the BIOS, enable uh, secure or um, secure computing, and then you're good. Just follow the steps, and if the if you have a different motherboard, just look up on YouTube. There's plenty of guides on there that shows you how to do it. That's how I figured it out. But I wanted to put this message out there for people who have Build Redux and they're not sure how to do it and they don't think to look it up. So hopefully this helps you. Bye.